In this video, we want to answer the rest of the question on page 136, question number 19 and question number 20. Let's start with question number 19. It says predict the shape and the bond angles of the following ions. Several ions are given here and they ask us to predict the molecular geometry and to determine the bond angle. As I said, the first step in determining the shape of the molecule and so the bond angle is to draw the Lewis structure to understand how many domains do we have around the central atom. For some of the ions which are given here, we have already done this one. So for the carbonate and for the nitrate, we have drawn the Lewis structure and we predicted the shape and bond angle. So let's start with part C and O2+. So we want to draw the Lewis structure for NO2 plus for the first step. Let's determine the total valence electron for this ion. Nitrogen is in group 15, so it has five valence electrons. Plus we have two oxygens, which each one of them has six valence electron. And because the ion has positive one charge, it means the ion or the atoms has lost one electron. So we subtract one from the total valence electrons. So that's why the total valence electron would be 16. The nitrogen come to the center for this ion. We put the single bond between the central atom and the rest of the atoms. We make all of the atoms octet by putting the lone pair for them. So now all of the atoms are octet, but we have to count the electrons to check what is the number of the valence electron in this set in this structure two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty so we have twenty electrons here but total valence electrons are sixteen so in this case we have to cancel four electrons as i said we cancel the lone pair on the central atom and we bring the lone pair from the adjacent atom between them so the lewis structure for this molecule would be n double bond o double bond o and two lone pairs remains for each oxygen and the nitrogen doesn't have any lone pair now all of the atoms are octet and the number of the electrons in this structure are 16 so this is the correct list structure but because we have the ion we have to put them in the bracket and show the positive charge on that okay so <clears throat> now we go to determining the electronic geometry molecular geometry and bond angle we have two domains around the central atom one domain is here the next domain is here so the domain around the central atom we have two bonds two double bonds but we don't have any lone pair on the central atom so the domain is two and electronic geometry and molecular geometry would be linear so for the linear molecule the bond angle between the two domains is 180 degrees let's go to the next ion NO2 minus nitrite we have drawn for this one so we go to the next one CLF2 plus let's draw the Lewis structure for CLF2 plus total valence electron for this structure chlorine is 7 it's in group 17 and we have two fullerene they are in group 17 as well so they have seven valence electron minus one because the charge of the ion is positive one the total number of the valence electron would be 20 electrons chlorine is a central atom because it's less electronegative than fullerene so we put the single single bond between the central atom and the rest of the atoms we make all of the atoms octet by putting the lone pair there and now if you count the electrons in this structure there are 20 electrons so this is the correct Lewis structure for CLF2 plus for predicting the shape of the molecule we have to determine the domain for this molecule we have two bonds and two lone pairs so there are four domain around central atom two bonds 
and two long pairs so around the central atom we have four domains for four domains electronic geometry is tetrahedral so we have coloring four domains two domains are on the screen one domain is coming out of the screen and one domain is go into the screen but two of the domains are lone pairs so that's one the molecular geometry or the shape of the molecule would be bent or v-shaped so i can delete three domains here no matter which domain i am deleting and i'm putting the lone pair inside it and i have f f we have to put this molecule inside the bracket with the positive charge on that and the angle is around 105 degrees you can also put the long pair for the atoms that you have here okay so this is the molecular geometry and bond angle in clf2 plus the next ion is sncl3 so let's draw the Lewis structure for SnCl3 minus. We have to find the total valence electron for that one. You have to look at the periodic table and see how many valence electron does the Sn atom have. In the periodic table here, in the periodic table, Sn is in group 14 so it has four valence electron so the total valence electron would be four plus let's change the color of the pen three coloring each one of them has seven valence electron and you have a negative charge so plus one total valence electron then would be 26 electrons Sn comes to the center, we put the single bond between the Sn and the colorings. We make all of them octet by putting the lone pairs. Now if you count the electrons here, you have 26 electrons. So this is the correct list structure for SnCl3 minus let's count the domains which we have around the central atom one two three bonds and one lone pair so the domain around the central atom is four electronic geometry would be tetrahedral and molecular geometry when you have one lone pair in the tetrahedral arrangement the molecular geometry would be pyramidal okay so if you want to draw it it becomes sn okay these are the four domains in the tetrahedral arrangement but one of the domain is lone pair so it's better to put the lone pair here and we put the colorings and in the bracket we put the negative so always for the ion we have to put the structure inside the bracket and we put the charge of the ion on the uh, on the right side top right side of the bracket and the bond angle is 170 degrees for this structure okay let's go to the next question it says how many electron domains are there around the central atom in the molecules that have the following shape so what is given here is the shape of the molecule or molecular geometry and it asks us to find the electron domains around that one okay so the first one it says the tetrahedral you know that in the tetrahedral arrangement there must be four domains around the central atom and all of those four domains are bonds the next one is bent okay for the bent molecule you have two situation the first that you have four domains and the second one you have three domains in both of them you can have the bent structure so look when you have the four domain for example 
this is the four domain and you have two lone pairs suppose this c represents the central atom if you have two lone pairs in these domains so this one and these ones are cancelled and i put the domain here a lone pair here so the molecule would be bent and the angle is 105 degrees another situation is when you have three domain around the central atom so this is the central atom one domain here one domain here and one domain here if you have one lone pair when the domain is three like here again your wall could become bent but this time the angle that you have here is 117 degrees so for the bent molecule it can be four domain or three domains okay so let's go to the next one the linear molecule for the sl student the only situation that you can have linear molecule is when you have two domains so one domain is here one domain is here and the angle between them is 180 degrees and these two domains are bound the next one is trigonal pyramidal trigonal pyramidal is a situation when you have four domain around central atom like this but one of these domains are lone pair so you have three bonds and one lone pair then you will have trigonal pyramidal so here also the number of the domains is four the next one is trigonal planner or triangular planner in this situation you must have three domains and all of those three domains are occupied by the bond so it's like the mercedes-benz logo so if this is the central atom one domain is here one domain is here one domain is here and the bond angle between them would be 120 degrees so let's wrap up this question it says how many electron domains are there around the central atom for the tetrahedral arrangement there are four domains for the bent molecule there can be four domains or three domains so like these two for the linear one there are only two domains and when you have trigonal pyramidal there must be four domains three bond one lone pair and when the <coughs> shape of the molecule is trigonal planner then there must be three domains around the central atom.